And then came the point where we wanted to play live. You know, even though I wasn't officially playing in a band with Rob from time to time, you know, he had a couple of acoustic guitars in his house and stuff like that. And um, at some point, he, he did the Fallen Sorrow cassette, and um, he wanted to go out and do the songs live. So he asked me to, uh, you know, to play. Yeah, we played some great venues. We played CBs and, uh, you know, Lakesides. We played uh, the downtown in Farmingdale, which isn't there anymore. That was a nice spot. It was a place, Classic Cafe, out in Islip that was kind of like a half bakery and half, um, you know, half cafe where you could sit down. And at some point, uh, we went in and played some shows there. And uh, a place um, right here in Belmore that we played at Ground Zero. In New York City, you know, there were CBGBs, the legendary CBs, and I played there a dozen times at Pretty Polly. But right next door to CBs was the CBs Gallery, and the CBs Gallery was the more smaller venue that kind of catered to more acoustic, not as heavy or punk rock kind of bands. So I thought, well, we have an acoustic guitar. I'm going to send the demo to the gallery. We're, we're too, we're, we're not good enough to play. I felt like playing the real CBs was like, you had to earn that right, and we did with Pretty Polly. But the great below, I was like, no, 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 we're supposed to be in the smaller venue. And I sent them the demo tape, and I heard back from, from the CB's gallery, and they're like, no, 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 you're, you're way too loud for the gallery. Go play at CBGB's. <laughs> and we're like, oh, all right, well, we'd love to do that. So we ended up doing, you know, we played a lot of gigs on Long Island. There were a lot of venues at that period. And, um, and we played CB's, I think, two or three times as the great below. Yeah, those shows were fun. They really were a lot of fun to see people's reaction. You know, when they see, you know, three guys get up there, no bass, acoustic guitar, you know, and then all of a sudden we start banging away. You know, it was pretty cool. A lot of people liked it. I can't explain it. It's like what started out is just a couple of songs that, not that I didn't think much of them, but I just felt like it wasn't a big deal. Like all of a sudden they had a life to them because of what Jay and Pete brought to them. And then we became like this live band. So that was really cool once we formed the live version of Great Below.